How's it going, YouTube? TM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video. And this box and my trusty knife, you know what this means. An unboxing video of anything, my new wrestling belt 12, guys. I think this marks my 37th or so wrestling belt. I mean, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I think it's my 37th belt, guys. And well, why don't I unbox it for you right here and see what it is. So let's go on with the review. You guys can see me well, and here's my trusty knife. It's time to do some unboxing. And if you guys want to know, this is from a guy of mine. It's, I think his name is your, like, your friend or, uh, Yunez or something like that youngest I don't know again like I say I try to make you know pronounce names especially when they're from Pakistan I mean yeah this is a Pakistani bootleg I mean as much as I hate to say that that but it's technically what it is it's a bootleg and and man this thing's in there good maybe let me try this the old-fashioned way DHL really know how to package your belts. Oh, here we are. And <laughs> somehow he came with a spare roll of tape. And I'm going to put that box out of the way so you don't see my information. Careful opening up this package because I don't want to cut the belt. Okay, so far so good. And I'm gonna put the trusty knife away. And we're gonna do one little. Uh, let's go on with the review, guys. That is right. I got myself a WWF hardcore title. And already seen some bit of the tape is coming off, but as you can tell, I have my homemade one above me to basically do a side comparison of. I mean, so far not a bad looking belt. We're going to start over here with the 2x8 gold snap box. This guy, I mean, it's a nice smooth leather. I'll give him that. Nice smooth leather. Obviously, the duct tape and all that. And here we have the plates, and you can see it's not one piece plate, it's separate. And he got the paint somewhat going on right, like that one over there. And obviously a big section of tape here, all, all kind of matching up. I mean, like that there is okay. To me, I'm, I mean... I'm not sure about like all this size of the tape, but it kind of is all right. Like here, the word hardcore, I mean, trying to match up like there. So far, it's somewhat accurate. And of course, the bar here and all that. I think this was supposed to be more bent, but obviously, him tries to do a winged eagle. It's, it's still a pretty good belt. And somewhat accurate paint there uh, half of a side plate there i mean you can see he literally tried to match up as what my homemade belt and what the real belt was to each their own but i say this guy i mean for a guy who i just talked to he does a pretty good job at trying to emulate the actual hardcore belt like here's the pieces to the secondary side plate the paint in there and matching it up to my uh, homemade one that's trying to be as accurate to the real hardcore belt. Kind of good. And uh, 
And yeah, I requested for him to have the lo a logo plate because most people I've seen on YouTube that made their own hardcore belt out of brass plates, they never have a logo plate. Mine I matched up to look like the ones you see on TV because the one with Mick Foley had, he did have a logo plate. Even uh, the Road Dog had a logo plate. Two by five <laughs> with a gold tip and all that. And obviously, I'm going to probably may want to do like clean up the plates a bit. And the thing I say for Little Flow, I mean, other than the fact that you got the tape cut in here, as for Maya, the tape is one piece. But obviously, he probably didn't know that. And most people probably would never know that unless you're like a belt expert. But it's all right. The paint, I mean, I say maybe a little bit too bright, but then again, I could wear off in time. Because I don't think this is, because I don't know if this is actually like, like enamel paint or something. It feels like it, but anyway, let's uh, flip the belt over. Just an array of bolts on the back, and it has nice smooth leather backing with a bit of tape covered up. And uh, obviously for the belt, it's flexible, and I don't mind smacking the belt around because it's a hardcore belt. But obviously... I'm going to do a bit of touch-up, obviously, to try to make the belt look as accurate to the one above. And luckily, he brought a roll of duct tape to help me out. So, I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to do a little changes of tape. And I'm going to show you this belt around my waist and on my shoulder. So, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Alright. So, hope you guys can see me well. Here's the new belt in hand here's my homemade one and obviously i'm just gonna put my homemade one down so here's the real one in hand i've done a bit of the changes here by putting like well not only cleaning up the plate but a bit of the tape here on the logo plate like it was in the real one and i mean most people may not like the hardcore belt because the fact is that it looks it's it looks like disrespectful to the winged eagle belt but you know i already own a winged eagle and it's a good one belt and i have it signed by two people but having the hardcore belt it's i mean they yeah, guys the first video i've done on my channel was of a hardcore belt and i've done like three or four of them so now to have a bootleg and a real replica version oh my Belt's getting caught in the drawstring, but I say it's a not bad belt. Good quality leather and good quality plates. I mean, besides the fact that they're broken plates, but it's not that bad. And now, uh, and I think I actually kind of like how the way the belt looks. Let's put it around my waist. So, guys, if you guys know about it being around my waist, I'm not a heavyweight. I'm about 200 pounds, so I'm most likely a cruiserweight. And already I can see. You can, if you don't see by the camera, the way how the belt is, I mean, obviously don't have a curve because majority of the plates are broken. So obviously he has a flat plates. Kind of wish he did curve them like real wet, like a real Win Eagle would probably would. But so far, I like the look of the belt. And obviously it's supposed to look like the belt that was given to Mick Foley and it was the first version of of Mick Foley had and now I own the hardcore belt in my collection and for a belt that's been around to be defended 24 7 tell me guys which one do you prefer this belt or the, or the belt I'm holding right here so I'm going to give one last run through and I'm going to end the video here and I'm going to put my uh, signed homemade hardcore belt back up and we're going to end the video So, one last run through right here. Two by eight gold snap box with the duct tape. And I gotta say, this guy's stamping and patterns look pretty good. Here. And yeah, I did take some of the my uh, ammonia-free Windex and wipe down the plates a bit. You know. So here's the side plates. 
Here's the main plate with the WWF or it's hardcore hampion. A bit of tape and all that. Main plates. This is the recent one. I mean, now the logo plate here where I recently just applied this piece of tape right here. 2x5 gold tip. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave it. If you know already, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to share it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, guys. I'm five subscribers away from 500. 500 subscribers away. And hopefully I'll be starting. And obviously tomorrow I'm going to start working more on getting my homemade winged eagle belt going. So obviously there will be a lot more things to do. So I hope you guys... And as well, don't forget to follow me on my social media, like at Twitter, or er, er, X, at DMTrimson96, and as well on Instagram at DME96, where I'll post a picture of this belt there before I do this, before I upload this YouTube video. I'm DM Tombstone Belts. I'll see you guys in the next video.